else we're going to bring you guys more cool videos. Please don't forget, if you're new to the channel, go down below, hit that like button, also subscribe. So anytime we make any videos, they're coming straight to you. But as you know, the WrestleCave and Super Terry are always doing action figure unboxings. We're doing action figure matches. We took some time off, had to think of a few things, but we're ready to go, man, with tons of ideas, tons of fun on the way. I've got WWE Elite Series 80, Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. One of my favorite tag teams to come into the WWE in a long time. They actually came into the NXT brand uh, and were tag team champions before they went up to uh, WWE Raw uh, two years ago. But Eric and Ivar, man, they were actually known as War Machine, the tag team. Uh, back in uh, a few other, uh, you know, independent promotions before they came to NXT and WWE. As you can see, it's first time in the line they've actually made the Viking Raiders. They went straight ahead to the elite figures. They didn't even go ahead and waste time on the basics with these boys. They know they needed accessories. So check it out. In Elite Series 80, we've got Bailey, Eric, Ivar, Kevin Owens, Ricochet, and then Kyle O'Reilly. And as you can see here, it gives some information about the Viking Raiders. They were actually out for some time when Ivar actually got hurt and was out of commission for, for some time. But uh, definitely, like I said, one of my favorite tag teams. Let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. We're first going to open up Eric from the Viking Raiders. Check out that pretty cool thing on the side there. I mean, the Viking Raiders, if you guys know anything about history, the Vikings pillar. The uh, continent of uh, Europe and then uh, England, specifically, a thousand years ago. Uh, and they took all their gold and all their, uh, you know, um, valuables. And they did that for like a couple hundred years before finally the English were able to uh, come to an agreement, come to terms with them. But check it out here. The uh, Eric figures definitely comes with some pretty cool accessories. He's got the wrist guard going down there, the helmet with the white wig going down. He's even got the uh, Viking horns right there, the shoulder pack, the colored tattoos right there, which are so great, look great in detail. And just uh, one of my favorite figures. Check it out here. It's got the, uh, for the Viking Raiders, on the shoes are decked out, the boots in black and uh, maroon, purple. And it says machine. On the other side, it says, or Ivar. And let's go ahead and see if I can open up this up. Let's take off that wig there. Let's take off that shoulder pack for a minute. Let's see how cool it is. Decked out. I'm taking it off of there. Let's check out those details on those tattoos. Looking phenomenal. And as you can see here, they've got the hands so they can do the war, war, war chant that they do. Uh, with the fans, even go crazy along with it. You got that pretty cool belt right there. there the detailed tattoos. He's, uh, you know, ripped up. He doesn't have a tan, just like on TV. He's just ready to kick ass. And what more can you say? Just a great figure by Mattel. I knew they were going to do these guys right. Elite Series 80 Viking Raiders, Eric, right there. Then we're going to go ahead and open up his tag team partner, Ivar, the big man. And as you can see here, they've got that picture of Ivar with that grizzly beard right there. And uh, these guys are just one of a kind, man. You know? Usually don't see guys as big as Ivar that can really fly around the ring like he does. He was out for a, a number of months uh, with an injury. He had to get a neck surgery, so he missed some time. And just so glad that they were able to return and uh, ready to go to war, man. War, war, war. And Ivar, there we go, Ivar right there. He stepped out with the war. Chant going right there, that sign, the too sweet sign for the NWO. And uh, just, a, like I said, awesome tag team, awesome figures. I do expect them guys to eventually win the tag team titles. They might have to wait a little bit longer with Omos and uh, Shane, or Omos and AJ Styles as the tag team champions right now. But uh, these guys, like I said, great job they did on the figures. Let's go ahead and open him up. And he doesn't have any tattoos, Mr. Ivar. But he's got that pretty cool uh, kilt and leather. He's got black and brown boots going down. Uh, he does have a few tattoos there along the back side of the leg there. The elbow pads are even one of a kind. They did great detail. Uh, I think Mattel, the head scan looks amazing with that grizzly beard. They've got the tattoos. They've got the guys ready to go. As you know, these elite figures, they move all kinds of different ways of motion. 
so that way you can have your action figure matches that you're looking to have. And then we're going to have some fun with the Viking Raiders. We're going to have upcoming a tag team Money in the Bank matchup. That's going to be coming at you guys probably tomorrow. Uh, by tomorrow evening, you're going to see that on the channel. Where we're going to have five tag teams from Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and even one from AEW, All Elite Wrestling. And all these guys are going to compete, all ten guys, five tag teams, to climb up and grab that Money in the Bank tag team briefcase. They're going to get a title shot anywhere in the world. In the Wrestle Cave, it don't matter. But guys, check it out. Eric and I have our Elite Series number 80. I'm giving it two thumbs up. Way up. I'm giving the war sign like the Viking Raiders. War, 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 war. And man, what can you do? Two of the best tag teams, or two of the best guys making out the best tag team in WWE today. And I, hey, I'm going to see y'all later. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about the channel. And as always, check out more videos. Peace.